Hey guys, I'm Cody, here by Past Life Pro, and to continue on with my shader tutorials, I thought I'd show you how you can change the sky color in the SUS V10.2 Preview and Ultra. So, let's make this happen. Alright, have the SUS shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Double click the folder, double click the shaders folder, and locate composite1.vsh. Using Notepad++, open it up. From here, scroll down to lines 141, 142, and 143. To quickly summarize, these three sets of numbers are what we use to change around the sky color. But as you'll see, it won't be just during the day. So, little review for those of you who are new to the RGB setup. First number calculates the red, second the green, and third the blue. Here, let's get to an example. Line 142. Let's just say the V10.2 sky during the day just looks a little too sharp and saturated in deep blue. How about we fix that? I'm going to change the red to 1.0F, the green to 1.7F, and the blue to 4.9F. Line 141. For whatever color you choose to make the sky, it is a pretty good idea to see how it works with sunrise and sunset. Although for my choice of color, since it really isn't a massive change from the original, I decided to leave the code as is. Line 143. Though this one is completely optional, I still thought it'd be worth showing off. So, example. Ever thought the sky had a little too much of a greenish hue to it? Well, let's make it a little bit more blue. Red, 0.009F. Green, 0.0002F. Blue, 0.110F. To compensate for the blown out whites on the moon as a result of those alterations, I'm going to change the brightness control to 0.010F. So, if this how to change sky color tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!